हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एन यूनिवर्स डबल टू इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेपर कंप्रेशन रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम firstly we discuss on which principle it which works the principle of vapor compression system that is evaporation and this evaporation it causes cooling so whenever evaporation takes place of liquid it gives cooling effect for example in the refrigeration machine as we seen in our homes the liquid is evaporated in a part that is called evaporator and during evaporation the liquid takes the latent heat from the substance to be cooled and produces cooling now functions of vapor compression system they are basically main four fundamental functions first one is compression second is condensation and third is expansion and fourth is vaporization so these are the main fundamental functions of vapor refrigeration system and now we need to understand what is the necessity of vapor compression refrigeration system so again there are four main necessity of vapor compression refrigeration system first one is a compressor a compressor is required compressor is required to establish pressure basically to establish pressure levels we can say pressure difference to maintain the pressure difference and secondly necessity is condenser condenser is used to reject heat from the system used to reject heat from the system and third necessity is expansion valve that is used to regulate the flow of the refrigerant it is used to regulate the flow of refrigerant and fourth necessity is that is evaporator this is evaporator evaporator basically used to absorb heat from the system so now all these working we try to understand with the help of a diagram so now we try to plot the all the parts of vapor refrigeration system parts of vapor refrigeration system so firstly we plot the condens uh, the compressor firstly we we plot the this is compressor so 
the function of the compressor here the function of this compressor basically to suck the refrigerant vapors at low temperature and low pressure from the evaporator and this compressor that uh, next is discharge line this is the discharge line that goes towards the condenser this is condenser and this is discharge line firstly we write the names of the main components then we explain in detail and this is receiver and from receiver it goes to this is evaporator and between the receiver and evaporator this is expansion valve and this is this line goes to towards the compressor and this is suction line so this is the arrangement as we can see and uh, there are some pressure gauges also mounted for uh, note down the pressures first one is that is uh, this is the control valve and again that is goes to the pressure gauges are mounted here for note down the readings this is pressure gauge and this is gauge manifold and again here is this is compound gauge and this compound gauge that is connected with this line that is here one supply is uh, goes to this compound gauge so this is the main parts of this system and uh, firstly we try to understand this is discharge line it basically convey the high pressure and low pressure high pressure and high temperature refrigerant vapor from compressor to the condenser next part that is the condenser here high temperature and high pressure vapors are condensed in the condenser and the pressure of the refrigerant is maintained almost constant while the temperature of refrigerant is lowered with the help of cooling medium and the cooling medium here may be air or water this may be cooling medium and liquid refrigerant then flows towards the receiver tank and here uh, liquid refrigerant is stored here in the receiver tank and next is receiver tank the liquid refrigerant in the receiver tank basically it maintains its level here maintains the level and flows towards the refrigerant control device from the receiver tank the refrigerant that flows towards expansion valve through this this is the liquid line through this liquid line and the liquid line it basically carries the liquid refrigerant from receiver tank and convey it to the expansion valve so next part is the expansion valve so in expansion valve its main function to supply the proper amount of refrigerant to the evaporator 
proper amount of supply to the evaporator but after reducing the pressure so that refrigerant may take sufficient amount of heat from the refrigerating space during evaporation so basically the main work of the expansion valve to reduce pressure of refrigerant and next part is evaporator so when liquid refrigerant enters at the inlet of evaporator here is liquid refrigerant that is at low pressure and low temperature so liquid refrigerant low pressure and low temperature when it enters to the evaporator so it all of a sudden expands expand and takes the latent heat from the evaporator because here the temperature of evaporator that is lower than the surrounding temperature so it absorb the heat from the surrounding or refrigerated space and then the evaporation takes place in the evaporator and cooling is produced and here at the outlet of evaporator the temperature is increased and uh, the liquid that is basically absorb the heat and at the outlet this is low temperature and low pressure basically vapors are here because the liquid refrigerant that convert into vapors so the vapors basically have low temperature also not much and low pressure so this low pressure and low temperature vapors these are carried by suction line and this suction line carries the low pressure low temperature vapors from evaporator and supply these vapors to the inlet this is the inlet of the compressor so suction line it carries the vapors of low temperature and low pressure and supply to the compressor and here this is the cycle that is completing again from compressor it increase the temperature and pressure and with the through discharge line passes through the condenser so in this video we have learnt about what is vapor compression refrigeration system its principle functions and necessities of the vapor compression system and how the complete cycle takes place for producing the refrigeration effect if you like this video share with your friends and students thanks for watching have a nice day